metres late, they have a right turn, slightly drags uphill, and then they drop down slightly and bend round to the left. But the last corner coming into the finish is very, very close to finish. I'm guessing around 350. I'm not guessing, I'm looking at it. 350, maybe a bit less to go. So it's important as soon as you get to that first roundabout with just over a K to go that you're in good position into that little oh. climb into, into, into the, the town of Alcuda and then it turns right and it does just slightly drag down to the finish line and then hmm? that's it for the last corner then so it's going to be fast and furious yeah. in position and I think he's going to be key and that fight for position has started just as you were running is in there well Jens Bay off to the left hand side Porta Alcudia just across on that headline there that's where we're heading we head to the beach at Alcudia first. It's EF Education Easy Post, who are still racing here, still riding hard. They're trying to set up, we think, Marijn van den Berg. There's Niels Pollitt. The riders in there from Movistar. They're winning that battle as well with Garcia Cortina. And then Max Cantor, we think, is going to be their sprinter today. Vinyam Germay is sitting at the back of the Andermarché train. Remember, bad news for them today, that Adrian Petit crashed out of the race. Yesterday they had that win, didn't they, early on? Rui Costa taking that win. He's done his job for his team today. A man who always does his job for his team. Tim De Klerk at the front. We are four kilometres from the finish on day two of these five one-day races in Mallorca. Ken Farmer winning that battle on the right-hand side for now as well. Second division team from northern Spain. It's a, a quite a hefty fight so far. I know they haven't got, they've got 3.8 Ks to go, about another K and a half, two Ks before they get to that roundabout. It's quite a big fight already to get to the front game position on such a, a wide road, which really you don't have to fight for position that more because the group's so small. You can afford to sit back a little bit, let Sudal quick step do the work and then just come up with your team if you've got them around you or pick a team to follow and then come up at the last minute. We can see their powerless just guiding by the looks of things. Owain Duel up there as well. He's got a teammate behind him. There's Ivan Cortina there as well, Rob. Someone we've not really mentioned. Well, unless you've mentioned him. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I want to mention him. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. The usual. Yeah, the usual. As well. we think, I think he's looking after Max Cantu, just sitting on his wheel. He's strung out again here. Look at the pace on the front. You saw Declerc pull off. You saw Mühlberger pull off as well for Marvi Star. Paulus, yeah, but... as you mentioned, left hand side, pink jersey. And then you've just got the Intermarche Circus once you ride is tucked in. I think that's Lloyd League and there's someone that rides alongside Gamay pretty much most of the mm. season. Just looking to guide his lead out man with Gamay just behind him. Mm. Big, big mm. mates mm. off the bike as well, Lloyd mm. Liga and Binyam uh, Germay. Work together mm. really well. Everyone is just quite happy with Sudal Quick Step at the minute, doing the job, trying to wait, just stay in position, but wait, wait, wait as long as you can. When they get to that first left hand corner around the roundabout, it's quite a fast corner, but you can see Cavagna itching, starting to go. Now it's his turn. He'll try to go as long as he can. Vernon's still got two teammates in front of him. Paulus with Dool behind him, and then there, Sprinter just tucked in behind Dool. Bora moving up on the left hand side. Then you've got Wanty on our right-hand side with Lloyd Bleak and just still patiently, patiently waiting, waiting to come up at the last possible moment coming into that roundabout. Powerless is done now on the left-hand side of our screen. And look who's there to lead out um, Viniam Germay this year. It's the new signing, Mike Turnison, who's just sitting there in front of him. Remember, winner of a sprint stage at the Tour de France, nonetheless, and yellow jersey wearer. There he is, just right inside behind Flieger. If there's riders that were struggling to get used to in different kits, it's definitely Mike Turnus and Vinian Gamay has got a mighty good lead out rider. Now he starts to go Lloyd Bleagle on the right hand side. Turnus and tucked in behind him. UAE trying to get involved with it, but how much duel coming up now? Squashing Sudal quick step in. You can see Cavani just fighting with the Mobby Star rider to try to get their lead out, Vernon. And here come Bora Hanscore too on the left hand side as we look at it. Right hand side still. You can see Turnison now taking up. First turn here inside the last kilometre now. And we're approaching the sprint on the second day of racing in Mallorca. Wet roads, plenty of nerves, but some big names ready to go. 
Girmay now being brought up on the left-hand side. Last year's winner, Mike Turner is there to do the job for him. But Ian von der Berg is dropped off by Owen Dool. Von der Berg is there, left-hand side. We've got to move from one of the riders now from UAE Emirates. A couple of riders also in there for El Scaltel. A couple of riders there too for Bora Hanskra. It's a right old mix of riders. that have to be racing for almost four hours. Final couple of turns to come in here. It's twisty, it's turny. It's wet through on the road as well. And the positioning is so, so hard to make. Uphill we come. Von der Berg is following. It's a really big effort, this. Final turn now one by von der Berg himself Vernon is up there as well this is anybody's race as Binyam Gemai tries to get in and it's Marie von der Berg who's there to the finish to win for EF Education Easy Post that is a sensational result from the young man for the Netherlands and Marie von der Berg wins his first professional bike race Serial winner in the under-23s. It didn't go that well for him on debut last year for EF Education Easy Post. It certainly had its time out. Again, so, so difficult. And he had that position. He held the position. And I tell you what, Adam, in the couple after that turn, there wasn't even a fight to get near him. I mean... That was impressive. He knew exactly what he had to do. He knew that last corner. He knew how wet the roads were, which ultimately played quite a crucial part in this today. Look how happy they all are. EF got off to a fantastic start here, haven't they? But I mean, he knew exactly what he had to do, where he needed to be. We could see Vernon scrambling to move up a few places, heavy on the brakes coming into the wet corners. The same as when I trying to move up, but it was pretty much done by that last corner, 100 metres out of that last corner. You can see him here. He's already in the wind here, coming into this right-hander alongside Turnison and Vernon on his wheel. But as I said, this is a good 300 metres in the wind he had to do, and he did it all himself, positioning himself, putting himself in that winning position. Brilliant. Oh, but it's on the left corner here. Yeah, really last corner and corners here, aren't they? Super late, and in these conditions, you can just see the accelerator out of the corner. Vernon, second wheel, Gamay just trying to make up a few places, but there's nothing you can do in these conditions in the final 150 metres. Plenty of shakes of the head there. Vernon not happy. Binyam Gamay shakes his head. The rider from Kofi Disu was there. Hands up, unhappy as well. What man who's delighted is Marijn van den Berg, who's now a pro bike race winner. <laughs> messy, messy finish on a nervy, wet, slippy and slidey day in Alcudia. There aren't many of